Greetings, everyone, and welcome to The Scoreboard. I'm your host, Brett Ferraro, and we have a great show for you today. Eagle Valley and Battle Mountain faced off against each other in basketball this week. We talked to some players after the game about how they played. Then we take a first-hand look at the Eagle Valley Devils dance team, talk to some of the dancers about the team itself and why they love to dance so much. All this right here on The Scoreboard. Eagle Valley and Battle Mountain faced off against each other earlier this week in basketball. Now Eagle Valley swept both games, winning both the boys and the girls. The girls won 64-44. to We speak with some of their star players after the game. Let's take a listen. Hello, everyone. We are here at Eagle Valley High School where the girls uh, just played Battle Mountain. Girls, what was the atmosphere like in there tonight? Um, it was really upbeat and full of a lot of energy. I feel like it was pretty intense. It was a good game. Yeah, it seemed like a great crowd to show up today, and it seems like people are packing in for the boys as well. You guys had a commanding lead throughout the game. What was, do you think was your strongest part of your game today? Um, we played as a team completely and utterly played as a team today. It was everybody contributing in every way that they could. I definitely agree with what she said, and I think we really came out with some really strong defense throughout the whole game. It definitely seemed like it. Uh, the final score, I think, was 62 to 42, 60, 64 to 42. Something, something in there, but it was a very good showing by our Eagle Valley Devils. Uh, what sort of things were you guys practicing this week to help prepare yourself for this game? Um, we always watch film before our games, but we were working on our press specifically and our defensive principles going in and attacking their offense in that way. For sure. I totally agree with everything she said. We basically did all that. <laughs> it seemed like you guys uh, succeeded and executed very well in that regard. I saw a number of your presses work out quite well for you. Uh, what do you think was the biggest challenge coming into this game? Was there anyone in particular you were looking out for? Um, I think all of our opponents out there were a big threat to us and it was mostly just about keeping the game level and keeping everyone yeah. Back. Yeah. <laughs> I agree. I think that all of the opponents that we played were really good, and I think coming out we didn't exactly know who was going to be a full shooter or not, and, but I think we played really well against them. Uh, for sure. How much of a mood boost is this after your game against Montrose last weekend? It's a big mood boost going 1-0 and in league and starting off really strong there. Oh, for sure. I definitely agree with that. <laughs> uh, looking forward into the future, how are you feeling about your next games coming up? Very good keep pushing just like this. Oh, for sure. I agree. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, <laughs> no uh, it was definitely a strong showing by our Eagle Valley Devils, so congratulations tonight, ladies. Thank you so much. And Thank you. hopefully the boys do just as well. Yes. Hopefully. Thank awesome. You. Thank you. The Eagle Valley boys basketball team also had a great game this week when they faced off against the Huskies, winning 71-44. to We speak with some of their players after the game as well. Let's take a listen. Hello everyone, we are here at Eagle Valley High School where the Eagle Valley Devils just played our Battle Mountain Huskies. It was a solid game, but the Eagle Valley Devils took an early lead and maintained throughout the rest of the game. I'm joined by two of their star players. you guys mind introducing yourselves to the audience? Uh, I'm Caden Kraft. Uh, I normally play the post and it was a great game, yes sir. Nico Von Schondorf, senior. And what grade are you guys in? Uh, I'm a junior. I'm a senior. Very exciting. So, huge game today. What were some of the main goals going into it? Uh, some of the main goals were just out-rebound them, you know, just get as many boards as we can. You know, we got great shooters, but, you know, we got to get those second-chance buckets for sure. Pushing the pace and just controlling our fouls. We did a really good job in the first half. We got a lot of sloppy in the second, but just fouls. Uh, for sure. Controlling fouls. You guys had a really solid first quarter. Your press was... Uh, you were killing them with their, your, with your press. Was that something that you were practicing in uh, practice this week? Oh, yeah. I mean, every week. It's, every day we go hard, we compete, and, you know, Brand just runs us, man. We just get in shape and we just do our thing. Yes, sir. Is a, is a full court press a pretty standard uh, defensive drill for you guys? Yes, sir, it is. That's how we play. That's how we know we got to play. We got a really deep team, and when it gets down to that fourth quarter, you can tell they're dead. We just want to keep running it and just push the pace. Oh, no, for sure. You guys were sort of crushing it early in the first quarter and maintained that early lead that you guys got. Uh, looking forward, uh, what are you sort of looking forward to uh, in the next coming weeks? Um, well, so Friday and Saturday we are in Junction. And we play a really good Fruita team and a really good uh, Grand Junction Central. So we're looking forward to that. We're just taking it one game at a time. Sure. Yes, sir. Just getting better every day. Like that's what we're trying to do. We're trying to just level up, level up until playoffs come and be ready to make a run. 
It was a super solid game today. Do you think you had any weaknesses that you're going to work on for Fruta? Um, I think we just got to work on some gap help. I think we let some straight line drives, which we don't really want. So I think we'll work on that and uh, kind of just perfecting what we need to do. So, for sure. Exactly what he said. Yeah, for sure. Fruit is going to be a tough opponent. They beat uh, Battle Mountain 75 to like 50 or something. So, like, it was, uh, it's definitely going to be a tough game. Uh, do you know when uh, this is your first league game of the season? How are you feeling about your whole league overall? Um, pretty good, but at the same time, we, we're not content. We, we're hungry, we're humble. Let's just do it, you know? Oh, sure. For sure. Well, guys, thank you so much for talking with me today. Great playing out there, and congratulations. Thank you, sir. We have to take a quick break. When we come back, we're speaking with some of the Eagle Valley Devils dance team, so stay tuned. The Eagle Valley dance team has been entertaining crowds of Devils fans all year at their home games. We got a chance to speak with some of the dancers to talk about the team and the tight-knit community that they have created for themselves. Let's take a listen. Hello, everyone. We are here at the Eagle Valley High School, joined by the Eagle Valley dance team. I'm joined by three of their members. Do you guys mind introducing yourself, saying your names, and what grade you're in? I'll start over here. I'm Maria, and I'm in ninth grade. I'm Kate, and I'm also in ninth grade. I'm Willow, and I'm also in ninth grade. Oh, that's very exciting. So first year on the dance team. How are you guys liking it so far? I'm liking it a lot. I think it's been really fun so far this season. Oh, yeah? It's, we've had a pretty, pretty great season so far. Um, it's been an amazing experience. The girls are all so unbelievably welcoming. And it's, it's another family already, for sure. Oh, that's great. It's been amazing. I, I don't know. <laughs> I love everyone here. <laughs> oh, for sure. What sort of got you guys to want to join the dance team? Um, I started doing some of the practices last May that they had like for preseason kind of and then I had a lot of fun and tried out and then now I'm here. <laughs> That's very cool. To be completely honest, I wasn't really thinking about it <laughs> and then one day I was with Maria at another sport and she was like, hey, I'm going to go and I was like, okay, I'm going to come with you and then I just kind of fell in love with it and kept coming back and yeah, and as she said, now we're here. <laughs> yeah. I've always been a classical ballerina and I just wanted to try something new. That's super cool. So you've had some dance experience in before. Have either of you had some dance experience in the past? Mm -hmm. No, no. That, we were both gymnasts, so uh, we have a little bit under our foot, but never. Yeah, like yeah sort of, sort of like, like this. Ballet. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, so we were talking earlier. You guys are practicing about four days a week. Uh, what days are those? Um, Monday afternoons, Tuesday and Thursday mornings, and Wednesday afternoons as well. That's very exciting. Uh, what time do you guys get up on Thursday or Tuesday, Thursday to do practice? <laughs> um, generally, we're up around 4.30 because we start practice at 5.30, ready to go. So we need to be here around like 5.20. So yeah, we're, we're up getting ready pretty early. <laughs> oh, for sure. Those sound like really long days, but um, very exciting. You guys performed at, at the Eagle Valley versus Battle Mountain basketball game the other night. Um, what other sort of things do you guys participate in? Do you do any competitions or anything like that? Yes. <laughs> what yeah. sort of competitions? Have you, got, have you guys done any competitions yet this year? Yeah. yeah, so our competition season just ended. We did... How many games did we do, or meets? We, we went had, I think, six? No. We had like five. Five. I think we, we had five. five. We had yeah. five competitions. <laughs> or no, we had six competitions yeah. because we ended we up adding states. one. Oh, yeah. And oh, then yeah. we kept cool. adding. And I think the highest we placed was fourth in our division, oh. um, which is pretty good. And then we got ninth at states, which we are all really proud of. Yeah. Oh, for sure. That's a very uh, big accomplishment. Um, First year out here, are, are you guys still planning on participating for the rest of your high school careers, you think? As long as we're not hurt. <laughs> yeah. that, that is fair. Uh, and you already uh, talked about the bit about the community. How is the team overall uh, welcoming-wise to such uh, new, new individuals? Everyone is so amazing and so welcoming. They like open you with open arms, welcome you with open arms, and <laughs> they're just amazing. Uh, what is each of your guys' favorite part about being on the dance team? Um, probably just being around all the girls, and like it's just, it's a fun experience to be around everyone, and I like being all, at all the games and all the events. It's just fun being with the team. I really enjoy it. That's cool. I'd say my favorite part is also being with all the girls, but also just like the accomplishment you get after completing your dance when you're sitting there knowing you did it, you all pulled together, you worked as a team, and then just being able to go off and celebrate with everybody and have 
have that community. Very cool. I just love dancing at all the games. <laughs> it does seem like a lot of fun uh, being able to uh, entertain a very large crowd because th that stadium la the other night was not empty, I'll tell you that. So definitely a lot of pressure as well. But thank you so much for talking with me today and I hope that you guys have a great time with the rest of your dance careers. Thank you so much thank for having so much us. For having Hello everyone, I am here at the Eagle Valley High School where I am talking to some members of the Eagle Valley dance team. Do you guys mind introducing yourselves to the audience, saying your name and what grade you're in? Hi, I'm Olivia Causey and I'm a senior. And I'm Hannah Perkins and I'm a senior. Oh, very exciting. We, so two seniors on the team. How long have you guys been part of the dance team? I've been dancing for four years. Very cool. Yep, since freshman year. What sort of got you wanting to join the dance team in the first place your freshman year? Um, I had a friend that danced on the team for her all her years and she just always talked so lovely about them, said it was like a family and that's why I really wanted to join the team. I've been dancing a good portion of my life and I thought it was a good outlet to be involved with the school. Uh, you sort of talked about dancing your whole life. What sort of previous dance experience did you guys have before joining the team? I had never danced before. <laughs> I, um, I think I had five or six years of ballet and just a bunch of studio dance. That's very cool. And did you feel like you were underprepared when you came in your freshman year uh, to the dance team? No, th uh, they were always so welcoming and we had like clinics before tryouts so I would get like the idea of Palm. For sure. Now, both of you are seniors with four years of experience. Do you guys feel like you've taken on a, more of a leadership role when it comes to some of these younger classmen and newer dancers? Yeah, definitely, especially because we're the only two captains on the team. Okay, cool. um, so we get to basically show the freshmen and sophomores and the new teams, team members of how to dance and like be a part of this team. Yeah, I think that when we came in our freshman year, it felt so welcoming that we just wanted to make sure that we give the same environment to incoming freshmen. For sure. It definitely seems like, based on everyone I've talked to, that it's an amazing community you guys have uh, created here. What sort of thi like specific actions have you taken to help build such a great community with the dance team? Um, we really focus on team bonding and teamwork. We are one heart, that's what we like to call each ourselves, especially when it comes to competitions. Mm -hmm. um, so I think we work on like team bonding, that's our biggest thing. For sure. And I think on a community aspect, we just make sure that we show up and that we're there. I think that being present at something uh, says a lot, even if no words are spoken. Oh, for sure. It definitely seems like you, you both have been extremely committed to the team as well as creating such a great environment here. I, uh, sort of looking back at your competition season, I hear you guys did pretty well in states. Uh, how did you guys feel about it? I felt really good with our team this year. We worked very hard and we had extra competitions that we've never competed at before. So it was definitely a new experience, especially because this was our first year going to more. Um, but I felt pretty good about it. Yeah, I felt like we were more prepared than in past years. Like we kind of had like a little prepare, preparation to get ready for actually going to state. So it was nice to kind of feel like we had uh, more preparation through it. For sure. Now the competition season is over now, unfortunately, but you guys are still out here entertaining all of the rest of your school during your half times for the basketball games. Uh, how are you guys feeling now that your sort of dance career is starting to come to a close? Um, you know, I'm kind of looking to dance in college, okay. but um, definitely upset that I'm leaving this team because I've known them for so long. Mm -hmm. um, but I am excited to see where they take it. Oh, for sure. Yeah, I'm the same way. I want to continue dance through college if I can make it, that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. But it's definitely kind of like kicking in a little bit. I'm going like, I remember like my freshman basketball games and I was like, oh, I have, I can do this forever, but it's, it's only four years. So it's, it's kind of like bittersweet. Oh, for sure, but you guys still have so much ahead of you, especially with college right around the corner, which is super exciting. Sort of looking back at your four years of uh, dance, what was sort of your favorite part or moment of the entire experience you guys uh, accumulated over the four years you were here? Um, definitely for me was just like how welcome I felt 
freshman year because it was nerve wracking, obviously. But at tryouts, I just felt like everyone was helping me and letting me know what I what I could do better, and they were just always so welcoming to me. That's great. I think out of all four years, my favorite part, especially of each year, is competition season because mm -hmm. that's when. I feel like we're all kind of, we're on edge, but we're really united because we all, we all want to win. We all want to show up and be there and the feeling of everybody coming together and putting their 100% in is super, super fulfilling. Now, let's say there's someone that's a little bit nervous about coming and joining the dance team, say a new uh, freshman or even eighth grader uh, looking into the May pre-practices. Uh, what sort of advice or thing would you uh, tell them? I would just say, um, just do your best and really um, be open to socialize with others because we will be together for a very long time. <laughs> it's a very long season, but um, I think the best part is just um, working together and taking the advice that older people will tell you. Oh, for sure. I think my advice is to just do it. Like, there's never going to be a time in your life where you can do things like the opportunities that you're given in that moment. So take the chance. Try out, we don't bite, we're actually very nice, so. <laughs> <laughs> very cool, it definitely seems like this whole community around the dance team is super welcoming. So if you guys are looking to join the dance team, go ahead and sign up. Ladies, thank you so much for speaking with me today and good luck with the rest of your year and <laughs> hopefully in college, okay? Thank, thank you. you. <laughs> We have to take a short break, but when we come back, we're speaking with the only two male members of the Eagle Valley dance team, so stay tuned. The Eagle Valley dance team has historically been all women, but two young men are bucking that trend. We talked to them about their experience with the team and dance overall. Let's take a listen. Hello everyone, I am here at Eagle Valley High School where I'm joined by two members of the Eagle Valley dance team. Do you guys mind introducing yourself, saying your name, and what uh, grade you are in? I'm Jake, I'm a senior this year. Hi, I'm Ray, and I'm a junior this year. That's very cool. Um, how long have you guys been participating with the dance team for? I started just this year when with preseason, so I wish I would have started earlier, but that's what happened. I'm pretty much the same. I started preseason and made my way here. That's very cool. What sort of got you wanting to join the dance team overall? I think it was mostly Jaime. He was the first male on our dance team, what, two years ago, right? Yeah, two years ago. And so just his entire story was very inspiring, and I just felt like I should do it also, because, yeah. Um, pretty much the same. Jaime inspired me a lot to join, since he was the first male double dancer that we've ever had. Mm -hmm. um, I also joined because of my friends because they really inspired me and they practically taught me all the skills that I needed and I came here. <laughs> no, absolutely. Definitely a cool story overall. Being sort of upperclassmen, do you guys feel like you're taking on a little bit of a leadership role when it comes to some of these young, younger classmen uh, joining the team? I feel that more so with JV. We have three freshmen and a sophomore on our varsity team, but they're all super responsible and I don't really feel like we need to take care of them as much as we do with some of the JV girls. I second that as well. Um, also just being on varsity and just setting a, um, setting up that relationship with our other team is very important to us, especially because we need to be able to give them that feedback that they need being on the varsity team. So. Oh, for sure. Definitely good to help bring up new talent, especially as some older people are um, moving on uh, out of the school system. Uh, sort of speaking about the being the only two males on the team, what is that like in your general school sense? <laughs> I haven't really noticed a whole lot of change. It's just, I feel like I get noticed a little bit more, but other than that, not a whole lot different. Um, it's definitely been pretty positive overall. Um, I think it's just something that needs to be done necessarily because there's not a whole lot of representation of male dancers in the world especially. So I feel that having that male representation here at Eagle Valley is very important and it just shows that you know, you're not just limited to what you can do. Mm -hmm. 
No, absolutely. It's definitely very cool to see two peop uh, two men on the dance team. I was here in the Valley many years ago and there were definitely none. So it's very cool that more individuals are joining the uh, dance team. Uh, so did you guys have any dance experience before coming into the dance team? So I had never danced competitively in Palm, but I have done jazz before for a couple of years back in like middle school and then of course like theater and dance training with that. So yeah, very cool. A lot of people ask me that question and it comes to a shock that I am completely self-taught. So <laughs> that, that is very cool. Um, sort of what other extracurricular activities do you do besides the dance team? Are you part of the theater anymore or anything like that? I did theater for my first two years, and then last year I wasn't able to make it because of work, and then this year I'm back in the musical, so oh, that's been cool. a great experience. Oh, for sure. Um, I keep an active lifestyle after school, really. I like to keep active and just be me, so. Oh, for sure. <laughs> um, sort of going back to that, I hear that your practices can be a little rigorous, especially on Tuesday and Thursday morning. How is that getting up in the morning for you guys? So far, I've only slept through one practice, so that's good. <laughs> but it is a little rough sometimes. Sometimes I roll out of bed and just lie on the floor for a little bit. It's a little rough. Yeah. Um, I will say that I have missed a couple practices, but you know, it's just making the adjustment, really. Mm -hmm. um, making that adjustment is very, you know, it's very hard to do. Mm -hmm. But once you start getting used to that adjustment, it comes easy. So. Oh, for sure. Uh, sort of going into or looking back at your previous competitive season, you, I hear you guys did pretty well in your division and in states. Uh, how was that uh, doing so well at states uh, for the team morale? I think it was great. Our entire team was really positive around the entire experience. It was just really great to have a community and a family that supports you. Oh, for sure. It was super duper fun. I would definitely do it again myself, but also just having that team environment, supporting each other and, you know, going on as a whole team, that's what really made State for me. <laughs> for sure. Uh, where was State located this year? So State was, I'm pretty sure this is where it is usually at the Denver Coliseum. So. We did that at the early, the beginning of December, the, I think it was like the 9th or 10th or something like yeah. that. So That is very cool and I'm sure it was fun taking the bus down as a whole team and like staying in Denver and all that. I remember all those fun times, especially for State, but uh, if there was one piece of advice for any sort of other male figure wanting to join the dance team, what advice would you give them? Do it. That's about it. <laughs> do it, put your heart into it, and remember, if you want to do anything, you can do it if you put your mind to it. For sure. Well, guys, thank you so much for speaking with me today. Uh, I, it seems like a great community that you guys have here, and I can't wait to see you uh, guys perform uh, for the rest of the games that, that you guys have coming up, so. Awesome. Awesome, thank you. Yeah. Bye. <laughs> That's all the time that we have for this episode of The Scoreboard. If you have any story ideas, please email us at scoreboard at tv8vale.com. And as always, if you miss any of our previous episodes, you can find them all at thescoreboardnation.com. I've been your host, Brett Ferraro, and I can't wait to see you all next time.